Supermodel Naomi Campbell is on display. A socialite is on the run. And a new docuseries explores the mysterious disappearance of Sherry Papini. Don Yabakis has your eye on entertainment. Naomi Campbell is the first supermodel to get a solo fashion exhibition. The exhibition displays around 80 dresses, garments, photos, and items that help to celebrate her 40-year career. The Naomi and Fashion Exhibition opened Saturday at London's Victoria and Albert Museum. A New York socialite is forced to flee from her husband's loan sharks in the new Apple TV Plus film, Land of Women. Your husband running a little late, huh? You friends of Fred's? We're supposed to meet Fred here. Oh, you're the caterers. How much do I owe you? $15 million. You have 24 hours. Then we've got to visit your daughter and then your mother. To escape, Gala, played by Eva Longoria, hides with her mother and daughter in the same Spanish town Gala's mother fled 50 years ago. Gossip in the town quickly spreads, revealing the family secrets. Land of Women premieres June 26 on Apple TV+. And a new docuseries digs into the disappearance of Sherry Papini. Once she was discovered and seeing the injuries was shocking. Keith and Sherry Papini seemed like a perfect couple until she vanished from their California neighborhood. Her disappearance triggered a frenzied search that became news around the world. But it's when Sherry is found that the nightmare begins. Keith Papini shares his experience. It really depicts the six years after she comes home and in the home with us and the, and the kids and how she continuously kept up her lies and what she had us do for her. Perfect Wife, The Mysterious Disappearance of Sherry Papini is on Hulu now. That's your Ion Entertainment, Donya Backus, CBS News, Los Angeles. I'm going to I'm going to watch that mm -hmm. Sherry Papini one. Mm -hmm. That's a good, I've been trying to find new shows to watch while I'm on the treadmill after Mix That Three goes off. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My wife watches reruns of Survivor and Murder Mysteries. I don't know whether to be scared <laughs> or what. No, you shouldn't be scared. Okay. She's just. Says you. All right. <laughs> uh, this, this one actually hit really hard close to home. Emmy and Golden Globe winning actor Donald Sutherland has passed away at the age of 88. He passed away yesterday in Miami, according to a post from his son, Kiefer Sutherland. The younger Sutherland said his father, quote, loved what he did and did what he loved. And one can never ask for more than that. Donald Sutherland appeared in close to 200 film and television credits. Among them, The Dirty Dozen, MASH, Clute, National Lampoon's Animal House and The Hunger Games. Remarkably, Suther Sutherland was never even nominated for an Oscar, but the Academy gave him an honorary statue, statue what? In 2017, Sutherland, Sutherland who was born in Ca Canada, had been suffering from a long-term illness at the time of his death. It's really sad to see. I mean, that, that guy is synonymous with just about every movie and show that, that from my childhood just growing up. And then, from mine too, because now the Hunger Games, exactly. and they posted, he played this, this mean character mm -hmm. in Hunger Games, but he was the complete opposite in real life is what they said. Oh, so yeah, what, very... a, what a kind and sweet gentle gentleman uh, yeah. is right there. Uh, moving on to continuing the music, uh, movie news, actress Glenn Close recovering from having COVID and RSV at the same time. In a social media post Wednesday, Close says she's in London to start filming the next Knives Out movie, Wake Up Dead Man. But only two days into the project, she had to take a break after getting hit hard with both illnesses. Close says she's now feeling a little better, hopes to be back on set next week. Respiratory syncytial virus, known as RSV, is a common respiratory virus. It typically causes cold-like symptoms, but can be serious, especially in infants and older adults. And in case you're wondering, Wake Up Dead Man, a Knives Out mystery, will see the return of actor Daniel Craig and is expected to hit the big screen next year. That's right, Benoit Blanc. All right, music news now. Country music star George Strait set a new record over the past weekend. Get this, for the largest U.S. ticketed show in history. Straight performed at Texas A&M's Kyle Field in College Station, and the crowd topped 110,000 people. That number broke the all-time attendance record of 107,000 concert goers. Straight has sold more than 120 million records worldwide. He is one of the best-selling music artists of all time. The previous record was set by the Grateful Dead at New Jersey's Raceway Park in 1977. <laughs> yes.